hello everyone and warm welcome back to my channel i hope everybody is doing well by god's grace so today i want to share with you atadri milk lamuji or atadri milk awusabia so join me So for this recipe, we're going to need some atadri, which is tiger nuts and some rice, okay? I'm going to soak this overnight, okay? So it's the evening, about 6 p.m. And I'm going to pour water, you know, around it and soak it till morning, right? In the meantime, we're going to prepare our spice, okay? This is what we're going to add to our drink to spice it up. So I have some bed's eye chilies, okay? Some cloves and then um, black pepper. Then I'm going to be adding some ginger right you can add some wintia grains of salem if you have it i didn't have it then so right add some water to it and you blend it nicely right and i would like to apologize for my video here my camera went very funny on this day of i'm recording and yeah yeah this is how it should look like right so um it's the next day and, and this is how the rice looks like after soaking okay um it's there you don't see much difference but you can check out my um rice um lemoji okay recipe i was be a recipe to see how i did that one for that one i toasted the rice first okay before you know soaking and blending it so you can do the same but this one i just took the straight you know ahead i've washed both nicely and i'm going to blend it okay so by when blending and um, don't worry about the water because you're going to be straining and you need much water anyway so once it's nicely blended, you just pour it through a sieve, okay? So we're going to sieve this really, really well, right? So this is the first sieving, <laughs> the first sieving, episode of sieving, right? And yeah, here goes in my um, atajo, which are tiger nuts, okay? So you don't need to really wash your jug, you can, because it's all going to be mixed. So it doesn't matter whether you wash your jug or not. Okay, so yeah, you blend that one too nicely as you've seen me do here and then we'll sieve it. So this is, as I said, we'll sieve it twice, okay, to uh, make sure that it is nice and smooth, right? So you just get all the juices through the sieve, right? And the chaff, you can throw it away or you can dry it and use it as you blend it very smoothly and turn it to some flour, which you can use to for something. I don't know what you can use it for, but yeah. So once this is done, all you need to do is to add um your spice, okay? So the spice, you just add it according to your taste. If you want it very spicy, you add more. If you want less, you add less, okay? You give it a stir and then we're going to sieve it again. The reason we added the spice before sieving the second time because the spice also has some chaff, okay? So yeah, you, you run it through a it's some smooth strainer so this is i don't know what this is called i forgot what this is called but i bought it in infinity yeah yeah so this has different like sort of gradients of smoothness or um i don't know let me leave that just some just go through say grave bath to craft a film it will it will make it smooth for you <laughs> it will strain it for you that's what i'm trying to say so it's nicely strained and i'm turning it into the bigger jug right so you need to add some sugar you need to sweeten it up right and i wanted to go for a very nice taste like a tadri milk kind of taste right even though it's not a i'm bringing a tadri milk recipe soon so i made some caramel right so just sugar and equal parts of sugar and water so a cup the same cup you need to fetch your sugar you need to fetch your water and you boil it you stir it until the sugar is dissolved then you leave it to boil so that's how it should look like so you take it off the fire when it looks like this because as it sits, cools, it keeps on, you know, changing color and it will become darker. And, and this is how it turned out to look like, you know, a bit darker than you saw before, right? So you pour some into your drink. You let it cool down completely first and you pour some into your drink, okay? Not all of it to taste, right? So um, moving forward, I want to show you another way. Okay, so I have, it, this is two in one recipe, okay? So you can use the rice and you can use the millet. So this is the millet and this mixture is the Hausa Koko mixture, okay? I have lots of recipes on how to make Hausa Koko. So if you follow that recipe, you know how to get this mixture that I'm scooping right now. And I've also blended the um, atadri, which is the tiger nut, okay? The same process, I soaked it overnight 
and then blended it in the morning and I'm, I'm adding it to it. The same, just combine it, right? And you add the rest of your sugar or you add your sugar. You can add the sugar directly, normal white sugar, brown sugar, whatever, honey, whatever sweet sweetener you have available, you can just add it. But I just wanted to go for a different taste. That's why I use the caramel to sweeten it up, okay? So yeah, this is how it looks like, pretty much the same, but they don't really taste the same because it's different. Atajo milk comes through nicely. Not atajo milk, yes, that atajo milk, isn't it? It's beautiful. You'll love this recipe. So I hope you give it a try. And, and thank you for joining me today. Don't forget to like this video, share and subscribe. And I'll see you in the very next one. Bye.